Okay, in this video I'm going to show how to create a billing statement using the in install templates that are available in Microsoft Excel 2007 and later. By, uh, to do so, I'm going to go to Menu, New. On the left of the New Workbook window you have Install Templates, select that, click Billing Statements, and then Create. Now we have a lot of generic information on here, and it's very simple to modify. All we have to do is on your company name, let's just type in your company name. Type in a street address. I'm going to delete address 2. Under city and state, I'm going to move that up to line 3. And I'm just going to put fake city Texas. And let's just do a throw in a zip code there. The top, again, is your information, so you would want to change this to your own phone number. Same thing as fax. And your email address. And you're all set up for your billing statement template. Now I'm not going to modify anything down here yet because this information will be information that you'll be changing and entering in data as you revisit and re-enter your billing statement template. So I'm going to go ahead and save this to my hard drive. Menu, Save. And I actually already have a folder set up for this, Alex Documents, and then I put Billing Statement. And I had a file here already earlier, Billing Statement Template. I'm going to, let's just pretend that that wasn't there. It would be a uh, your folder is empty. I'm going to name it Billing Statement Template and for I'm just going to rename the file to Alex's company. And in parentheses, clean. That way to know that this is the clean file and it, it's going to be completely blank. So I'm going to close this out because I want to show you. So if you were to go to Menu, New, and you selected Install Templates and selected the Billing Statement, you wouldn't get the same template that you just created because this is just a blank generic template that's installed within Microsoft Excel. So since we saved it to the computer, all we have to do is go to Menu, Open, or if you have Recent Documents enabled, it would be here. Currently mine is disabled, so we go to Menu, Open, and in the folder Alex Documents Billing Statement, we have the file right here. And we can hit Enter. So that concludes this portion of the video. In the next video, I'm going to show how we can open this up, enter in some data, and then create some invoices right here. I will also be showing in the next video how we can modify this table to change the format. Because looking at this table right here, you can put in a date, a service type, an invoice number, a description, an amount, payment, and balances. Now, I would like to show how we can modify this so that you can put in an amount right here, a quantity right here, and a grand total right here. That way you could modify this to your likings if you wanted to create a billing statement or some kind of invoice history. Thank you for watching this video.